call it cities, floating on the ocean or yachts covered in gold. The rich people are more into making and owning the luxuries of the luxury yachts lately. Starting from 79 feet to 500 feet tall, the inventors are not pausing even a bit when it comes to proudly owning the luxurious yacht faring its way out in the sea. So without any further ado, let's take a look into six of the most luxurious islands on the sea or mega yachts as explored. Dubai first. Let's explore the least expensive yacht on the list, Dubai. Well, don't take us wrong when we mention the least because it as well amounts to around $400 million. This yacht has a monstrous length of 530 feet and a width of 80 feet and held the title of the largest yacht sharing its way in the ocean for a few years until 2009, tightly. The construction of this yacht first began in 1995, but was later completed by the VIP of Dubai and the United Arab Emirates. This bad boy of the ocean runs at a speed of 26 knots at 8,500 nautical miles per second. Well, the luxuries provided in Dubai are there as you list. Be it a cinema hall, a separate squash room, a huge swimming pool, water bike rides, or a pristine dining room, Dubai has it all. It can accommodate 90 staff members and 115 guests at the same time. The Dubai yacht is surely a pride for the corporate officials of the Arab Emirates who are often seen out on long tours with their families. Azam. Being one of the most expensive yachts sailing across the ocean, the Azam is owned by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayd Al Nayan. Being from such a wealthy family himself, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayd Al Nayan invests more than required in his lady running out in the water. The Azam is about 50 meters tall and 600 meters long lengthwise. Be it the unique helipad situated at the top of the yacht or its iconic master bedrooms, which scream luxury in all languages, the Azam is named rightly to translate resolute in English. It is also constituted with all kinds of luxury from within as well. The Azam provides the guests with fantastic food, full-time entertainment, a luxurious swimming pool, cinema rooms, ballrooms for marriage ceremonies and engagements, and a pristine dining room as well. This yacht has two Germans as its constructors and took only three years for them to be completed. Well, we really wish for how it feels like to be in the shoes of Mansur bin Zayd Al Nayan and Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayd Al Nayan, owning two of the most luxurious years in the whole world and handling the wealth of more than $900 billion together, which is the highest ever. Dilbar. This super yacht built in Germany blew everyone's mind once it took off sale in 2015. The yacht is worth a whopping amount of $300 million and stands proudly as the fifth longest superyacht in the whole world. Starting from having spa services to beach clubs, Dilbar has set its bar already high. It also has a spacious dining room and in-yacht salon. Its length is about 511 feet and has the capacity to accommodate 40 crew members along with 80 guests at the same time. The most striking features of this German super yacht are its mind-blowing exterior and equally striking interiors. It might not be the largest yacht on the list, but is surely one of the most luxurious ones sailing across the ocean right now. Moreover, Dilber also offers piano classes for guests as a crash course who have been there for over a month. Folk Al Salama, we bet, this $500 million super yacht of the royal family of Oman is all set to turn your heads in complete awe. A lot of illicit celebrities, such as Giorgio Armani and Cristiano Ronaldo possess luxury yachts, but none of them is comparable to the Folk Al Salma, which belongs to the royal family of Oman, more specifically the House of Bousset, the family. Also known as Al Said Dynasty, more frequently resides in the Dubai region, the same place where most of the billionaires own over-the-top estates and other expensive possessions. Being a private yacht, the Folk Al Salma may not be the longest yacht ever made but definitely stands among the most spacious yachts out there. The vessel's volume of the yacht, which comprises the engine is analyzed to be 22,000 GT, gross tonnage. The Folk Al Salma lags a few centimeters behind the superyacht Dilbar, which is owned by Alisher Usmanov, whose volume span 
is calculated to be 15,917 GT. It has a crispy cream-colored body with a few blue accents. Due to these outstanding attributes, the yacht is able to reach a maximum speed of 22 knots. The huge size of the yacht can make anyone feel as if they are seated inside a floating mansion. The entire interior is fitted with gold-plated fixtures throughout, as all of the billionaires of Dubai have a similar fetish. The yard consists of a movie theater, a lounging room, a well-decorated dining area, along with wood panel floors and wealthy embellished paintings on the wall. It is capable of accommodating about 200 crew members alone who make sure the yacht operates optimally. There is a separate salon area that is well embellished with luxury and has overhead lighting fixtures, which highlight the golden heavenly interiors along with an over-the-top conference room that is decorated with huge traditional vases and an overhead mirror as well. Apart from these attributes, there is a separate deck for the VIP, which has a full functioning gym, a beach club, as well as a private swimming pool and a helicopter pad. M slash Y a plus. Well, it is not news when the fact that mostly these